Red Canyon 2. Haha, <laughs> it worked. Success. Wee! I'm just gonna kill myself. It's probably what's gonna end up happening. Oh, bombs, bombs, bombs. Hey, I barely took any damage. This is actually an easy course. But I get the feeling if you run into one of those bombs, you're really gonna screw yourself over. It's like you, one of those moments where it's like, it's not that hard, but the moment you slip up, you've like screwed yourself up big time. Because you're gonna be bouncing all over the place. Yeah, uh, uh, see, look at that. Yeah, I was, I was right. What's the point of the track even doing that right there? It's not like you're gonna be turning. You just drive straight through it. It's not a hazard, it's it's probably just there for effect. Those what I assume to be mountains back there just look like like giant piles of turds. What are those in the background? Those purple things. <laughs> There's like no bombs in the way because I blew them all up last lap. Ugh! I've always liked desert levels, and I especially just like the name of this one, Sand Ocean. It's just... something really majestic about it. It's just... It's like majestic and barren at the same time, like that just desolate feeling you get with deserts. Because it's just like this big open space of dead. Not really dead, but you know, it's mostly lifeless. So yeah, basically it's it's not exactly death, but it's lifeless, if that makes sense. Whoa, my capture device is being weird. Really choppy right now, but it says it's only dropped five frames, so. I'm just gonna trust it. But anyway, as I was saying. Oh crap! Uh. It's just this giant. Oh crap, I am close to dead. This giant open landscape of just sand. Actually, you know what? I wish that they would, like, not even have mud and stuff. Just, just wide open sand. It'd be kind of cool. Firefield. The final level. I don't remember how this level is, but judging by the map, it doesn't look that easy. Oh, crap. Bombs. They're gonna, they're gonna do that to us. Ugh. I hate it when, like, your steering gets jammed. Like, you hit a wall in a specific way. And it's not like the physics, I don't think. It's just like they... I, I guess they're trying to be realistic and that you just got slammed so hard your steering just jams for a minute. And I hate it when that happens. Jeez, this is gonna be a problem. I really don't even care about getting first, honestly. I just wanna live. But this being, this is one of those games that you have to finish at least in a certain place in the specific race. So, like, it doesn't matter that I've done well otherwise. I have to finish in a specific place or else it won't let... Did it not give me any power? Do they really do that? Do they not give you any power? Get out of my way. I think they do that. They really do that.
that really make you go sans power. Maybe there's something over here. Oh, crap. There's no way I'm gonna make this. Oh, there, there's, okay. There's something over here. Fill up faster! Hey, a boost. Woo! Okay. At least they do have the decency to give you some power, even if it's out of your way. And I just really don't like how slow the power fills up in this, because they never need power. They're computers. This was back when they fed computers. They just handed wins to computers. What are those in the background? I know I keep asking that, but... They, they couldn't be trees, could they? This is a... Are those supposed to be, like, eruptions back there? Because... Oh, crap, I missed the power. Because it's... The eruptions are just, like, frozen. They're not moving. I mean, I know you've got the hardware limitations, and you maybe couldn't really do the eruptions, at least this early on, but I think if you were going to have an eruption, you either have it moving or not have it at all. See, look at that. Carefully, carefully move. Two of you in a row? This is a long level, too. Ugh. Stop being on the wall. We get a little bit of a head start on it there. Tell me this isn't the last lap. Made me slam into him. I have to come in at least third. This is the last lap, so I don't have to worry too much about surviving. I just have to not go crazy. I think I can do this. Ugh. I'm already almost halfway out of energy, so... I mean, power. Uh, uh. Turn faster, jeez. Get out of my way. You're not stopping me now. No, stay back! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is, this is gonna be close. I'm in fifth now? Oh, go, 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 Yes! I'm a survivor, I'm not gonna give up. I don't know the rest of the world. <sighs> okay, that is it for this cup, and that is it for this game. That is... This LP is basically over. I don't think there's like a credits sequence. So I'm pretty sure that once this finish ro finishes rolling through, I'll be done. So yeah, F-Zero for the Super Nintendo. One of my... One of the first games I ever played. I was gonna say one of my favorite games of all time, but then I was like, no, it's not. Then I was gonna say one of my favorite racing games of all time, and I guess it is, but. Stylistically and the way it is, it's so awesome. I really like that, but there's a lot of problems with it that I don't like. That kind of pushed me away from it. Let's look at our records here. Mm-hmm. I actually like every single F-Zero game released after this better than this. I don't know. Maximum Velocity was kind of bleh. I think I just don't like that one because it doesn't have Captain Falcon. Ooh. 
Oh, that's Mute City 1. Like, it holds a lot of memories, but, you know... just doesn't really hold up all that well for me. For any other sake, really, than just nostalgia. Yeah, there you go, there's the title screen. This LP is done. Actually, continuing what I was saying before, I want to say this before I cut off, I, I've never actually played F-Zero Climax, which was a Japanese-only release for the Game Boy Advance. I'll play that eventually, but I, I haven't had the ability to yet. Well, I've had the ability, but I haven't had the chance, I meant. Well, also, actually, there's technically one that was like released for the Satellaview, which was also a Japanese-only thing that was like a broadcast system for the Super Nintendo that they had games on, and they did kind of a quote-unquote sequel to this game for that. That does exist in ROM form. I may LP that game someday, but I have yet to play it now. And it's unlikely that I'll, I'll play a ROM of it on an emulator. I would probably like to get it dumped onto a an actual Super Nintendo cartridge because I just I don't I just don't like using emulators. Even though it's still illegal and like it's basically using a ROM just dumped onto a cartridge. So yeah, thank you for watching and See you next LP. This has been F-Zero. This is Fishmon14, signing out.